Today we have a Game Boy Advance that was sent in after a cap swap left two pads missing. The owner was able to install these two caps. I'm going to remove them anyways because the solder doesn't look too good underneath. To do that, I'll just use some wick. Now we can focus on the pads that are missing. You've seen me repair pads in the past. I'm just exposing the copper underneath the solder mask with a scalpel so that way we can solder to that copper. Here I kind of cut the trace back a bit too far. I don't really remember why. I feel like there's a reason to it. After the copper is exposed, we can tin it with solder and we can use that exposed copper to run our new traces or replacement traces. So we can solder on some 30 gauge wire, bend it into shape and recreate the trace and pad as best as we can. To recreate the pad, I'm just going to bend it and loop it over a few times so that we have some surface area that's built up and we have something to hold the solder inside of it, if that makes any sense. And I'll do the same thing for this pad as well. Just kind of build up that surface area, solder to that cap, and now we can fill those two little holes with solder and then bring in the replacement cap and solder it directly on top of that, and it should fit nicely. And now we can reinstall those other caps with a little less solder. And with all that out of the way, we can now cover everything with conformal coating to protect the wires and hold down that cap. And moment of truth, let's see if it works. And it does. Cool. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This repair is brought to you by PCBWay. Thanks to their support of my channel, I'm able to repair all of these games for free. Check out PCBWay for all your PCB, 3D printing, and CNC needs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.